Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Decree 55 for 2018, setting up and organising Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies. The new college will be affiliated with the Cabinet under the supervision of the Education Minister, who will be responsible for it before the Cabinet and the Legislative Branch. The decree shall be enforced by the competent ministers and become effective the day after its promulgation in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 56 of 2018 on appointing Imam Mustafa Mohammed Al Mabathi as Chief Executive Officer of Social Insurance Organisation, the SIO, for a four year term. The Finance Minister shall implement the decree, which will take immediate effect and be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today exchanged cables of good wishes with the Highnesses and Majesties, leaders of both Arab and Islamic countries, on the occasion of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, birth anniversary. His Majesty wished the leaders continued health and happiness and their people and countries for their development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders. Crown Princes and Prime Ministers of both the Arab and Islamic countries on the occasion of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, birth anniversary. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished the leaders continued health and happiness and the people and countries for their development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today held a telephone call with the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. His Royal Highness the Premier was reassured about the Kuwaiti Emir's health, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant good health and protect Kuwait and its brotherly people. His Royal Highness congratulated His Highness Sheikh Suba on the successful medical checkups undergone by the First Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister, Sheikh Nasser Suba Al Ahmed, and for his safe return. His Royal Highness the Premier lauded the long standing brotherly relations between the two countries and their peoples. The Kuwaiti Emir expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his well wishes, reflecting the depth of the deep rooted relations between the two countries, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. On the occasion of the Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, birth anniversary, his Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain wishing them many happy returns. The Prime Minister hailed the success of the Bahrain International Air Show held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness praised the Air Show's organisation and the wide participation of large international companies. He commended the efforts of the Supreme Organising Committee led by His Majesty the King's representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and thanked all the ministries and government authorities in aiding the success of the air show through cooperating and coordinating with the committee. The cabinet congratulated the former Secretary General of the UN, Ban Ki-moon, on winning the Khalifa bin Salman Award for Sustainable Development in recognition of his efforts and contributions in serving humanity and promoting global peace, security and achieving sustainable development goals. The meeting stressed the importance of the award in reflecting the vision of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to highlight international models that provide great services to promote sustainable development efforts and improve life for future generations. The Cabinet noted the importance of the GCC Health Insurance Conference and Exhibition held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in the Kingdom with the participation of the Gulf and international personalities. The meeting also noted the importance of the scientific and technical papers and the conferences, sessions and recommendations in building regional and international partnerships and enhancing the sustainability of health services. On the occasion of the municipal and parliamentary elections, the Cabinet wished all the candidates and voters success. The Cabinet welcomed the statement of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's public prosecution regarding the killing of Saudi citizen Jamal Khashoggi. They affirmed that the statement reflects Saudi Arabia's commitment and keenness under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to establish justice and enforce the law with integrity, as well as independence of the judiciary. They added that the statement was put this issue within the criminal framework and fought the attempts to politicise and carry out suspicious campaigns against the kingdom, which the kingdom of Bahrain rejects.
the Cabinet referred to the Coordinating Committee, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Labour law in the civil sector. The Cabinet approved the application of the provision of the state's general budget in municipalities through including other revenues in the state's general budget. The Cabinet approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the municipalities law. The Cabinet approved a draft law approving Bahrain's joining of the document establishing the restructured Global Environment Facility. The attendees also approved a memorandum of understanding on technical and investment cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt. The MOU aims to bolster bilateral cooperation in the field of investment projects and to establish joint economic projects. The Cabinet approved the final signing of Air Services Agreement with Ukraine. The Cabinet discussed a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council amending the law of utilising IVF-assisted fertility techniques to exclude stem cells from prohibiting cloning. The Cabinet instructed the Ministry of Health and the Supreme Council of Health to set standards, regulations and conditions that permit the use of stem cells in research and treatment. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives Council two draft laws. The first adds a new paragraph to Article 2 of Decree Bylaw 25 of 2015 on collecting the cost of establishing and developing infrastructure in reconstruction areas. The second amends Article 16 of Decree Bylaw 25 of 1998 on private educational and training institutions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister reviewed the executive situation of the new Exhibitions and Conferences City project, where the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism briefed the Cabinet on a submitted construction tender. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited the Omani Embassy today on the occasion of Oman's 48th National Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was received by the Omani Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdullah bin Rashid Al Madalwi, and in presence of a number of ministers, senior officials, ambassadors accredited to the Kingdom, journalists and media personnel. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the development of Oman under the leadership of Sultan Qaboos bin Said. He noted that attending the embassy ceremony reflects the strong brotherly relations and cooperation between the two countries. On the occasion, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated Sultan Qaboos bin Said and the Omani people, wishing Oman further progress and prosperity. For his part, the Omani ambassador expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for attending the ceremony, which reflects the solid Bahraini Omani relations. He also commended His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's contributions to the development of the ties between the two countries.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with Arab and Islamic leaders and Crown Princes, marking the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished them continued health and happiness and for the countries and people's further progress and prosperity. On the sidelines of the first Gulf Health Insurance Conference and Exhibition under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, a specialised workshop on the field of health expenditure rationalisation organised by the Health Council of the Gulf Cooperation Council and in coordination with the Ministry of Health and the Supreme Council of Health. The workshop that gathered over 300 participants from the health sector in Bahrain and the other Gulf countries aims to introduce the health funding systems in the GCC countries and increasing coordination and cooperation between various concerned authorities to face the challenges of increasing health spending and to find alternative health resources to rationalise health spending. The Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health, member of the Executive Authority of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Dr Mariam al stated that the workshop's themes focused on the health spending in the GCC topic and the challenges it faces in rationalising spending on medication and health services. For his part, the Director General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Sulman bin Saleh Adakil, stated that the workshop's outcomes will support preparing a general context for the Gulf strategy for rationalising health spending. The Kingdom of Bahrain hails the speech of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, during the opening of the third year of the seventh session of the Shura Council of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which highlighted the solid principles and values of the Kingdom. Bahrain affirms that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a model for the establishment of justice, equality, equity and comprehensive development at the national, regional and international levels. It also notes the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's commitment to support brotherly and friendly countries in overcoming all crises. Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, reaffirms its solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its support to all Saudi efforts that aim at establishing regional and international security and stability. Bahrain also reiterates its sincere appreciation for the noble contributions and initiatives that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has taken throughout its history. It also praises the pivotal Saudi role in ensuring security and stability, consolidating peace in the region and the whole world. Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Centre for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the President of This is Bahrain, Betsy Matheson, visited a number of religious, scientific and cultural organisations in Paris, France, where many of the religious officials expressed pleasure at His Majesty the King's initiative. I'm very, very happy and very honoured uh, to be visited by uh, these friends from uh, Bahrain. It's the first time I'm going to meet uh, Sheikh Khaled, uh, but Betsy, I know her well uh, from a visit I had in Bahrain about uh, uh, three years ago, and uh, it's a visit which I, I still remember vividly. Uh, one of the, the highlights, of course, of the visit was uh, spending some time with, uh, with the king and, uh, uh, and we had extremely, extremely uh, profound uh, uh, discussions. It wasn't just uh, uh, the usual thing where you, when you meet a sovereign, you, you exchange usually, I would say, some banalities. Uh, there, on the contrary, we were straight into uh, really uh, things which were, I think, very important to him and uh, also important to me, uh, both on uh, uh, our approach to uh, uh, human relations uh, uh, and interfaith uh, relations. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's always been something on which I have uh, worked, uh, worked for peace. I spent a lot of time uh, uh, trying, trying, I'm saying, trying uh, to push forward the peace between Palestinians and, uh, and Israelis. It was, uh, for many years, I was uh, absolutely centered my efforts on that. I'm very glad to receive your delegation, very happy to discover what you're doing in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the dialogue between religions. And in this house, we call the Collège des Bernardins, 
It's a very old house, 700 years old. And during all this time, with some stops, people worked, study the theological object. And they tried today to make this house a very open mind house for dialogue between all cultures and all religions.